David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Kabiris This Week. And this week, during Thanksgiving week, we decided to visit Cooperative Christian Ministries. And Kasha's going to tell you all about the operation here. We've got a lot of great information, all kinds of events going on. So if you miss any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to kabiriscounty.us slash on CTW, and all the info is right there. Today, CTW introduces you to a critical operation in Cabarrus County. The Cooperative Christian Ministry provides immediate assistance to members of our community who are experiencing crisis in the areas of food, shelter, or finances, while engaging them in a series of actions that empowers them to move beyond the crisis. Volunteers will restock the shelves of the Cooperative Christian Ministry's main food pantry with donated or purchased items before the pantry opens again tomorrow to meet a new crowd of faces, some of which are here for the first time. Cooperative Christian Ministries has eight satellite food pantries from North Kannapolis to Midland that are supported out of this food warehouse. The Food Pantry Network, along with dozens of other independent food pantries located across Cabarrus County, continue to serve individuals and families struggling to meet their basic needs. The holiday season is a particularly important time for all of us to come together and share. There are numerous ways to make a difference in our community through food banks and other ways of lifting our community. We can all make a difference in Cabarrus. Cooperative Christian Ministries Crisis Center is located at 246 Country Club Drive Northeast in Concord. A list of current pantry needs is available on their website. For more information on Cooperative Christian Ministries Crisis Center, visit cooperativeministry.com or call 704-786-4709. Now, another thing that Cooperative Christian Ministry does is helping with the homeless. And I think a lot of people don't realize the magnitude of the homelessness in Cabarrus County. What we want to do is show you a video at the end of the show that gives you a lot of information and kind of enlightens you for the homelessness that's going on in Cabarrus County. Now, the holiday festivals are just now getting started. You know, it's a good time of the year. Uh, Kannapolis Christmas celebrates the start of their Christmas season with the annual tree lighting ceremony on Saturday, November 26th at 6 p.m. at Village Park in Kannapolis. They're going to have live music and entertainment, keeps the spirits lively, and children can participate in a variety of activities. Fireworks light up the sky to close out this festive night. So for more information on Kannapolis Christmas tree lighting ceremony, November 26th at 6 p.m., Village Park in Kannapolis, visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4343. Save some money during the holidays and make your own gift tags on Tuesday, November 29th, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the library. The holiday gift tag DIY class is free and open to those ages 12 and older. For more information on the holiday gift tag class, November 29th, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. Now, it's okay to have your dessert first. You know that. I mean, I do that a lot. Actually, you can kind of skip the turkey, go straight to the pie. The Thanksgiving Pie Party is on Wednesday, November the 23rd, 11 a.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. Now, there's plenty of time for turkey on Thursday, you know, but always time for pie. Okay. For more information on the Thanksgiving Pie Party, November the 23rd at 11 a.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant, call 704-920-3484. The Piedmont Choral Society presents its Christmas concert with delightful holiday choral music and orchestral accompaniment. You'll recognize familiar carols and light fun pieces that bring out the festive cheer. You'll have two chances to catch this great concert at Forest Hill United Methodist Church, located at 265 Union Street North in Concord. That's Friday, December 2nd, 7 p.m., and Sunday, December 4th at 3 p.m. For more information on the Piedmont Choral Society concert, visit facebook.com slash piedmont.choral.society or call 704-699-6053. Jeff Whittington, a North Carolina banjo champion who's been a staff musician on the Arthur Smith Show, he's going to host an evening of traditional bluegrass. That sounds like fun. Featuring Christmas music. That'll get you in the mood. That's on Thursday, December the 1st at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater. A variety of bluegrass players join Winnington on stage for this holiday treat. Tickets are just $16. So for more information on Jeff Winnington Bluegrass Special, December 1st, 7.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater, visit CabarrusArtsCouncil.org. 
Challenge yourself for some gameplay at the game day party Monday, November 28th, 11 a.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Bring your friends to play trivia while enjoying refreshments. For more information on the game day party November 28th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, call 704-920-3487. Now let the kids come on in on the toy making on Saturday, December the 3rd at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Frank Les Park for Santa's Workshop. Okay, that's always fun. Now get in the spirit of the holidays with s'mores, hot cocoa, kind of snowflake design competition. But this one I'm still trying to figure out. A snowball fight? Hmm. Be interesting to see how they do that. Now bring your camera or for a photo with St. Nick. The cost is only $5 per child and registration is required. So for more information on Santa's workshop on December the 3rd at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Frank List Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Celebrate the holidays at the Town of Harrisburg's annual tree lighting ceremony Friday, December 2nd, 6 to 9 p.m. in Town Center. Visit Santa and Mrs. Claus, take a horse carriage ride around Town Center and enjoy on-stage entertainment. Hmm. Hot chocolate, cider, kettle corn, crafts, and more are available for purchase from local vendors. For more information on Town of Harrisburg's annual Christmas tree lighting, 6 to 9 p.m., December 2nd, Town Center, visit harrisburgnc.org or call 704-455-7275. Now, treat the family to a night at the movies. Okay, that's always fun, but you do it at the library. Okay, family movie night is Wednesday, November the 30th, 5 to 7 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library. Movies are family friendly, and you don't have to worry about sneaking in snacks. No, I would never do that, ever. Okay, that's right. <laughs> you can bring your own munchies to enjoy the flicks. So for more information on Family Movie Night, November the 30th, 5 to 7 p.m., Harrisburg Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2080. It's a winter wonderland at Village Park in Kannapolis from November 28th to December 30th. The Winterland Express and Celebration of Lights is a family tradition that you need to continue or start. There you go. Ride the train around the park to see the twinkling lights. Visit Santa and sing with the bears. Most activities are free and the train tickets are only $2 a person. The Winterland Express is open Sunday through Thursday 6 to 9 p.m. and Friday and Saturday 6 to 10 p.m. with the exception of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when it's closed. For more information on Winterland Express and Celebration of Lights, Village Park in Kannapolis, November 28th through December 30th, visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4343. Now, America's favorite squishy stuff makes an appearance at the Mount Pleasant branch of the library. Everybody's wondering, what's that? Okay, Friday, December the 2nd at 10.30 a.m. and Saturday, December the 3rd at 3 p.m. It's Play-Doh Lab, okay, for kids ages 4 to 12. Allows them to squish and knead and to kind of create all kinds of cool things. Now, for more information on Play-Doh Lab on December the 2nd and 3rd, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2202. A great local holiday tradition is to view the beautiful holiday lights at Tanglewood Park in Forsyth County. Mm -hmm. The Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks Department is offering a tour that puts the driving on them and lets you sit back and enjoy the lights. Tanglewood Park's rolling countryside will transform into a winter wonderland of giant twinkling snowflakes and whimsical scenes. The trip is Monday, December 19th, and it departs from the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord at 2.30 p.m. Cost is $30. Registration is required by November 30th. For more information on the Tanglewood Light Trip, December 19th, call 704-920-3484. Now, Cabarrus County government offices, including the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, Department of Human Services, all the library branches, the senior centers, the county landfill, and the household hazardous waste facility, they all close on Thanksgiving holiday on Thursday, November the 24th, and Friday, November the 25th. Now, the Cabarrus County Parks will close on Thanksgiving Day and will return to their normal hours on Friday, November the 25th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So for more information on Thanksgiving holiday hours, simply visit Cabarrus County Dot US. Now, I know we talked about at the top of the show that the homeless situation in Cabarrus County, they estimate that almost over a thousand people are homeless in Cabarrus County. And we'd like to share this video with you to kind of give you an insight to that situation.
how could I leave with just clothes and my son? I had nothing else, just clothes and my son. And just knowing that I had to start over again from scratch was, was scary. At that time, I was living in my car uh, with me and my children. I will never forget um, uh, the first time we had to sleep in the car, I, I actually played a game. We were playing a game like, oh, we're going to go camping outside. And uh, had no place to live, no food to eat. That was the hardest thing for Jeff and I to ever tuck you in. In a car. <laughs> I was scared about my future, like I said, of becoming homeless. I, you know, I don't think that the majority of people, you know, even realize how many people live in their cars, live in a tent in the woods, or in a homeless shelter. It's like a, a, an endless cycle. It's hard to, to get out of it. Sometimes you feel like it's ever gonna end. Coming here to the Mac House, it allowed me to be able to focus on rebuilding our life without the fear of the bottom falling out. Before we get into CCM's program, we were homeless for almost two months. I don't know where we would be without them. Without having places like the Mothers and Children's House and my father's house, there's a lot of families, whether it's single moms with their children or if it's families with small children, that would be out on the street. Everybody that is blessed to be able to be in those places is given a roof over their head that they wouldn't have had otherwise. And coming here, to the Mac House really, I think, saved my life. Being at CCM with the kids, I felt like with them, it kind of showed them that, hey, you can go through a lot, but at the same time, it's always help out there. The ministry really, really cares about people. And they're really fighting this fight of the crisis of homeless people there. So many times people want to give up because you wonder, how am I going to make it? So many times God, at the exact moment when I had lost all hope, brought somebody into my life. If you can help someone less fortunate than you, you know, through your local nonprofit organizations or local churches, please think about doing that. And until next week, we hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving week. Take care.